guys. Let's review those uh, six, seven questions I gave it to you. Start with the first one. There are three PW conductors. They're all four odd. Sajendra, I'm going to start with you. We go clockwise again. Okay? You just give me the information. I'm going to write it. All right, my dear. So tell me, in question one on password assignment, what page are we on on the binder, dear? Page six. Page six? Yeah? yeah. All right. So it's section four, four. password. Perfect. It's given TW. Yes. Yeah. Which based on table 19, now you guys know it's good for 60 degrees C. Yes. Yeah. What is the conductor size? Four out. Copper or aluminum? Copper, copper. copper. Free air or conduit? Conduit. Conduit. So we go to table two. Table two. What's my opacity? Opacity is 195. 195 amps. How many wires? Three. Three, Three wires. So no derating factor. Answer stays at 195. Perfect. Good job. Hamid, next one for you, dear. After number one, what number are we on? Number eight. Number eight. Tell me what's given. Okay. It's, uh, table four. First, tell me what's given. Copper or aluminum? Oh, this is aluminum. Aluminum. Free air or conduit? Um, it's in conduit. Conduit. Yes. So I go to table four. Yes. Perfect. On table four, I'm going to look at 60, 75, or 90 column. 90. Why? Because I said R90 XLPE copper? No, because Did I give it to you? R90. Or exactly. the degree C of the cable is given in the question? Table, table 19. Oh, you had to go to table 19 for yes. that? Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Okay, table 19. So, so what is the gauge wire size given, Hamid? Uh, the 150. No, gauge. The size. The size of the wire. The size of the wire is 2 ohm. 2 watt in a 90 mm -hmm. column. How many amps do I see? So 150 on T4. 150 amps. And how many and wires? Yeah, because there are... Uh, Three set feet there and two phase there are nine. So total of nine wires? All so right. Table five table C. Table five. Table five is <coughs> okay. Zero point seven T. Perfect. One fifty times point seven is? Yes, and hundred and five. And that's it? You rock that's my it. dear. Anything anybody not agreeing to this answer? Because I'm not looking at the question, guys. If you have a different answer, you might be right as well. So just let me know. Okay? Next question, David, I'm going to ask you to help me. What number <coughs> are we on after this? Number 10. Question number 10. Yes. Copper or aluminum? Uh, this is uh, copper. Copper. Free air or conduit? Free air. Free air. Free air. Yeah. So we stick to our table one? Yeah. Okay. And is it, what's the conductor size given here? Uh, this is uh, uh, one zero. One odd? Yeah. Okay. And 90, 75, or 60 column? What is the degree C? 90. 90 degree C? Yeah. Perfect. Based on table one, how many amps? Uh, it's uh, 260. 260? Yeah. And that's it? No more information, right? In the question? Are we done? Okay. Next one after that, Martin. What number are we on here? Um, 11. Question number 11, read that question for me, please. Um, how much weight can be suspended from a flexible card? I wanted to trick that's you guys to see if we can find the answer. Were you able to find out? Okay, what rules did you go to to find flexible cords? Um, 4.012. 4 4 012, sub rule? 3. 3. That tells me how many weight? Or how much weight? 11 kilograms without the special approval? Yeah. Or with special approval with is? With special approval is 12. Is 11. And without special approval is? Is um, 2.3. 2 .3. So this is with the approval. Is that what the question said, with yes. approval? Yeah. Fantastic job here. Yeah. I have not taught you, but I wanted you guys to look and see if you can find the answer. All right, we're going to go forward with the homework assignment. We're going to keep going.
going, dear. You're going to give me the next uh, question. Read it for me. Okay. Uh, what is the maximum current? What number are we on? Oh, uh, number one. Question number one yeah. on the homework section four. Yeah. Yeah. What is the maximum current that five number two copper TW three hundred volt conductors can carry when running a raceway or cable? So number two and TW. Is that correct? Yep. Okay. So we go to sixty degree C column. Copper or aluminum? Okay, what table am I going to go to? Table 2. Because it's in a conduit? Or table? Perfect. On table 2, what's your opacity, dear? 95. 95 amps. How many wires? Uh, 5. 5 wires. So table 5C will be? On 5C, it's 80%. Uh, so what's my 95 times 0.8 answer? 76 amps. 76. Any other information given or that's it? That's it. Perfect. That was awesome. Next question for you, Jasper. What number are we on? Uh, H number one, TW seventy five aluminium. Conductor. Question number. And uh, question number two. Okay. Question two on section four homework assignment. Tell me what's given here. Uh, Is it copper or aluminium? It's aluminium. Aluminium. Yes. Three year or conduit? It's uh, run at EMT. EMT. Yeah. So we go to table four. Yeah. What is the conductor size given? And number one. Number one. 60, 75, or 90 column? It's a 75. TW 75. 75. Perfect. So Based 100. on that, what's my opacity? 100. 100 amps. How many wires? And eight wires. Eight wires. 5C. 5C, 0.7. 0.7. That leads to 70 amps. And that's it? And uh, 40, 40 degree temperature. Okay, 40 degrees C amps. Yeah, so five table 5A. Five yeah, 40 degree and 75, uh, 88. Point 70 eight. times 0.88, which leads to an answer of? 16. What's 70 times 0.88, dear? 61.5. 61. 61. 60? 61.6. 61.6. Amps, done. Okay, very good job guys, you're so ahead. Next question after that dear, I'm gonna ask you. Okay. What number are we at now? Number 10. Question number 10. Now tell me whether it's copper or aluminum. Copper. Copper. In a conduit or raceway? Um, raceway. Sorry, um, raceway. free air, raceway. So question number 10 on a homework assignment. You have copper and you have a raceway. So we go to table two. Yeah. Okay. On table two, dear, what is the? <coughs> the TW cable. TW. I did it's really good for 60 degree C. 60 degree C. Mm -hmm. Number four, 70 amps. So number four, that leads to. 70 amps. 70 amps. Perfect. Anything the, else, given? The rating factor of 0.6. Why, why? How many wires? Um, 28. 28 wires. Okay. 28 wires. Using table 5C will be 0.6. So 70 times 0.6 will be? 42 amps. 42 amps. Perfect. So next question to you, my dear. What's after number 10? Uh, done. 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 That's it. You guys rock. Seriously. Awesome experience as a teacher so far. You guys are all catching up. That's awesome. Could we go to harder stuff? Yes, here. In previous code books, were there with the D rating, was there language of um, current carrying conductors? We're going to talk about that. Oh, okay. Anything when there is a three, so let's say you work on a three wire, three phase, four wire system. Yeah. Okay? You have three phases plus a neutral, mm -hmm. and it's a balanced system. So each wire is carrying 100 amps. What's the current in the neutral? Zero. In that case, you don't count it. We're going to talk about this in, when we highlight more stuff in section four. Okay. okay. All right, guys, ready? Yes. Let's go to section four, first page. We are going to highlight what I've taught you before we move forward. Page number 19 of your code book. All right. First thing first, you're going to go to rule number 4-002. That says the minimum conductor size I can use for copper for power circuits is number 14, and aluminum is number 12. For any power circuit. 
unless it's a control wire, then yeah, we can go smaller size and we'll learn more about that in, in uh, section 16, okay? Now, just follow my highlighting and do that. For copper wire, okay, when the conductor is in free air, I go to table one. Copper wire, when it's in a raceway and you have up to three wires, I go to table two. When you have four or more wires, I go to table two plus table five C. Copper done. Now we're gonna talk about aluminum, okay? Aluminum is in subrule two. In subrule two, you're gonna highlight the word aluminum right here. When aluminum wire is in free air, you go to table three. When you have three wires in a raceway, you go to table four. When you have four or more wires, you go to table four and table five C. Done. Okay. Now we're gonna learn what do I do for underground installation? Your wires are placed underground, okay? And this, let's say the impacity or the supply that they are providing is less than 1,000 amp load. How do I find the conductor size? For that, I don't go to these tables. I go to the story that's mentioned in your subrule D, which is right here. Diagram D8 to D11 and tables D8A to D11B. For this topic, please keep this window open for half an hour. This takes a little bit of understanding to, to be here, and after that, it'll be super clear. There is one question on that in your exam. Clear? Could we go forward? As the name says, it's in Appendix D. So you're going to go to Diagram D8. number that you have trouble with for four odd. What oh, just the highlighting? Okay, highlights for cable sizes. Okay, so you want me to go to table two back and show you the highlighting? Here and I'll show you. We were here. So on section four, you just want to copy this? That's why you just need more time? I'll leave this on the screen here. I'll let you copy before we move forward. While he's copying this guy, we're going to discuss something very interesting, okay? What if I was told, what if I was told um, you have three wires, number four, and three wires, number one. One is good for 75 degrees C, one is good for 90. How do I find the opacity? Very cool, very cool. Yeah, we're going to discuss all of that too. So, if one was 90, second is 75, you base it on 75. You know that. Awesome, awesome. Let me know, dear, if you're ready, Sean, we go to all these diagrams. Ready? What 
page is this diagrams, guys? Page 551. Let's see. 550. Mine is 40 pages behind. It's a soft copy, right? Are you guys with me on this one? All right. Now, let's understand this nice looking diagram. Okay? If you see the top, this represents the floor level. Your conductors are placed 915 mm away or under the floor level. Circle A, circle B, circle C represents phase A, phase B, and phase C wire. They are placed 190 mm from each other. Here we are on page number 551. You're with me? Ready? Go ahead, yes, sir. All right, guys. So let's say I was told I am installing a copper wire. Okay? They are, keyword will be in your exam, directly worded.